sentenced Mr. Stokes to three and a half years in prison and banned him from driving for life. This latest charge occurred in June of last year. Now Mr. Stokes will be back in court in April for facts and sentencing. He has been in prison since his last conviction in December. Well, tonight we have a story of a man who works in one of the most conventional institutions in the province, but who lives a very unconventional life. He's used to people doing double takes when he walks by, but is not deterred from being the person he wants to be. Here's NTV's Carolyn Stokes now with part one of a three-part series, When Boy Meets Girl. They say before you judge a man, you should walk a mile in his shoes. Of course, the same goes for a woman or a woman who just so happens to be living in a man's body. Judgment is nothing new for Jennifer McCreeth. She is a 33-year-old transgendered man who works as a privacy analyst with the provincial government. And you see me here today, still very much a biological male, presenting in a very feminine manner in terms of the clothing I'm wearing, the fact that I've painted my fingernails and I'm wearing a skirt and high heel shoes and things like that. And that type of presentation gives myself confidence. I can finally go about my business and go about my life and be my true self and not have to hide anything. A native Nova Scotian, Jeff McCreeth, began his government job when he moved to St. John's one year ago. But he only started going about his business as his so-called true self in November, shortly after the office Halloween party. It was then Jeff shocked his co-workers with his gutsy costume. Yeah, ironically enough, I was voted the best costume, and that was nice. I got a nice basket of goodies for that. I think the, the irony of it is that really was not a costume at all. He says his real costume he wore every day, like a mask of masculinity. That Halloween party was a turning point because for the first time in public, Jeff was expressing on the outside how he always felt on the inside. And it gave him the courage to delve deeper and make some important life choices. And one by one, new little hints and clues would come into my mind. I was like, you know what? I'm not just indifferent to men's clothing. I actually hate putting it on. Why is that? And all these kind of mysteries that were just kind of hidden there, the clues led to the answers becoming more evident and obvious. And it's like this foggy cloud has been lifted and I can actually see clearly who I am, what I am, what I desire and what I feel I need to be. And what he feels he needs to be is a woman, inside and out. I originally came to work dressed as a man, presented myself as a man, but I started incorporating feminine things into my presentation, whether it be putting in earrings, whether it be bringing a purse to work, whether it be incorporating a little bit more pink or red into the presentation, and just kind of seeing what type of reaction. Do people care? Do they notice? Do they say anything? Are these reactions positive? Are they negative? Are they indifferent? Jeff also legally changed his name to Jennifer and now politely asks that everyone refer to her as she. It's taken some adjustment for her colleagues, but overall, Jennifer says she's received nothing but support. She's even been approved to use the female washroom at work. Each little step that I took and the reactions I was getting, they were all very positive. And I think government is a good place to work to do this because they are so open and accepting, not just for their employees, but for the public, the citizens. That's ultimately what government is about. And to come into a workplace that's open and accepting of this is obviously wonderful. It's what I want, what every transsexual desires is a workplace that's open and accepting of it. But acceptance isn't quite so easy to find outside the politically correct confines of government. Watch part two of When Boy Meets Girl tomorrow night as we continue to follow Jennifer on her quest for womanhood. For NTV News, I'm Carolyn Stokes. Well, now we're going to return to this evening's top story, the weather. And, uh, well, we were sort of grumbling about a bit of rain here in the St. John's.